President Obama is on the way back from his final major Asian trip before leaving office. Much has been made of the president's so-called pivot to Asia, a greater focus on the region economically, diplomatically, and militarily. But correspondent Rich Edson reports tonight from the White House. Experts say things have not exactly gone according to plan. President Obama has departed Southeast Asia, ascending this morning to Air Force One without incident. A preferred experience to his landing last week when he arrived to a diplomatic squabble between American and Chinese officials over which staircase he'd use. The president's critics, especially Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, claim the botched reception demonstrates the disrespect China holds for President Obama. If this theory about uh, my reception and uh, my rebalance policy is based on uh, me going down the short stairs in China. Yes, I think that is overblown. The rebalance to Asia, an attempt to bring greater U.S. attention to the region. The president leaves with the U.S. still facing significant challenges there, an aggressive Chinese expansion in the South China Sea, as the U.S. is still at odds with China over its alleged cyber theft and economic tactics, continued North Korean provocations. Pyongyang tested three more ballistic missiles during the president's trip. Obama is pushing tougher sanctions against North Korea. Can I guarantee that? It works? No. Uh, but it is the best options that we have available to us right now. As the president shifts U.S. focus to Asia, events in the Middle East drag American attention and resources. Among his most important meetings in Asia, Russian President Vladimir Putin on a ceasefire in Syria. Tomorrow's crisis is probably in the Middle East, and the day after that, and the day after that. Though he says security relations with Asian countries are improving. As for an evaluation of the president's pivot? Without the, that economic leg, then both uh, President Obama and his counterparts in the region, I think, will see the, the pivot as incomplete. For the president, that economic leg is the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a 12-nation free trade agreement stalled in Congress and opposed by the Republican and Democratic nominees for president trying to replace him. Brent? Rich Edson, live on the North Lawn. Rich, thank you.